is Crystal with Pineapple Papers, and happy Saturday! So it is May I Scrap Lift You time, and today I am scrap lifting paperism um, on Instagram. So I will link her linked. I will leave her linked below, and she has some super fun layouts. So definitely check her out and give her some love. So this is the one I chose. I love the fringed um, paper on the side. So I am going to start with that. And I also love that she used a pattern paper background. So it's kind of like a grid. Um, and I'm going to kind of go with the plaid, which is very sim similar. And... So I am going to use the Maggie Holmes Round Trip collection. I am going to go through the 6x8 paper pad and I am going to pull several uh, different pieces of paper to use, excuse me, as my trim, my fringe, not my trim. And so I took my fringe scissors and I actually cut it down. So now I'm going to layer up those pieces of paper and try to decide what order I want them in. And they're going to go right there on the side of my photo. Now my photo is bigger. I am using a four by six photo where I think she maybe used either a four by four or a three by four. So mine is going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to extend a little bit, uh, basically from page to page. So I am going to back my photo with this beautiful wood grain. And the nice thing about the 6x8 pad is as long as you put it, it doesn't have like, I don't know, things on the that have to be vertical you can put it on the horizontal and you don't have to trim your photo down so she has a couple of tags as well uh in her layout and so in the six by eight pad there was a cut apart sheet that had a couple of tags so i cut those out i'm going to take my hole punch and make actual holes where, where some twine or something can go. So I'm going to put those up there. And then I do believe I go off screen and glue everything down. Oh, I'm going to pop my photo up first, but I'm only going to pop the top of it up, not the entire photo. So give it a little extra different kind of dimension because I don't want the fringe to not look right because it's going to be flat to the page when I think it would just look funny if I, if I put it down and didn't, it would be like up on one side. It just wouldn't look right to me. So that's why I only decided to pop the top one off. And I guess you get to watch me glue. <laughs> I thought maybe I went off screen and 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 glued it down, but I guess not today. Today you get to see me glue. So it doesn't take too long, as you can see. Now I have my photo a little askew. And so it kind of overlaps it at the bottom, but not so much at the top. Now I'm going to fluff up this fringe just to, to give it some funness. I, I just, I really do love fringe. I am a huge fringe fan. So she has her title over to the right. And obviously there's not enough room to the right side of my photo. So I'm going to do the right, but I'm also going to put it down below the photo. So I'm using a chipboard word that says explore. This is us in Yellowstone for our uh, summer trip. And I like this together. So it says explore together. 
I'm going to grab a couple of other pieces of ephemera, some florals, a um, butterfly, and a little banner, and then this super cute frame. Now, I wasn't sure that I liked the together and explore in the same black font. So I found this gold piece that says today, which works great too. And so then I'm just going to bring in another gold element of this compass. I'm going to put that up there in that cluster. I really wanted to use lots and lots of pieces of ephemera because that is what she had done. Now, I don't get quite as many pieces on, but I think it's because my real estate is a little bit smaller as well. So this is kind of like the tag section. Um, I go through half of it and decide, no, there's not really anything in this. I double check the back just to be on the safe side. But in the sticker book, I found a purple tag. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to that kind of tagged cluster area up there at the top. I also add a couple of foam dots to go to give it a little dimension. And then I'm going to just kind of flip through the book and see if there's anything else that I want to use. I really do love a good sticker book. Like they give you so many pieces and they're super usable. And when I had originally purchased this, I didn't have any of the ephemera. I think this is the first time that I got to use the ephemera. So that was super exciting. Um, I'm looking for something else to put up there with that banner. I just felt like it it just seemed a little bit out of place. So I'm going to go with another floral. And then I went off screen, glued everything down. I decided to do twine in two different colors, one a bow and one just um, plain um, like she had done. And then I am going to use these Vicky's something uh, sequins from Spiegel Mom Scraps. They have some really pretty purple ones in there. So I'm going to get my butterfly, some butterfly trails, and then I'm just going to scatter a couple of other sequins basically in my two clusters that go around my photo. And I do end up just using, oh, just kidding. I was thinking I just used the purple, but no, I did add that kind of uh, baby blue in there as well. So that is going to do it for my layout today. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I will have links not only to Instagram for paperism, as well as everybody who is playing along with May I Scraplift You today. And I can't wait to see who they are scrap lifting. So remember to wear your crown and we'll see you next week. Bye.